Hello sa inyo mga kapamilya, I am Martin Alguer and while our athletes who are sporting leagues are currently suspended, our athletes under quarantine, they found a way to practice and do the trainings while staying at home. And for those of you who are aspiring football athletes or football players, good news, dahil dalawang national team players po ang makakasama natin. Hi, this is Harvey Gayosa. Hi guys, this is Ina Palacios. To make you better players while staying at home. So tara na, take notes, kunin ninyo ang inyong mga bola at uh, panoorin natin. Hi, this is Harvey Gayosa and I'm here to teach you guys a few drills that I do here at home. So the first drill that I want to teach you um, is basically juggling. Um, it will help you with your touches and your, um, your control with the ball. So what, what you're gonna do, what we're gonna do here is um, we're gonna make sure that you keep yourself close to um, a certain area. You shouldn't let the ball go far. If, th if this is your ball, you have to kick it quite in this area so that it doesn't go far. So if you kick it, it has to be coming back to you, the spin. Observe the spin going towards you rather than going away from you. If you kick it this way, it's gonna go away from you. So it has to be kept close. So you can start by doing um, 10 in each foot, or you can do um, kicking the ball from left to right foot, or you can just focus on one foot first. Alternate, left and right. So you can do that for 10 sets, and for four reps, or for five reps. Okay, so for the second drill, what I'm gonna teach you is basically, um, it's a tool that you can use to get out, get out of your um, position when you're trying to beat a defender. So you get any object that you have in your house and put it right in front of you. This also, this also works because you need to work on a tight space, especially when you're playing in the wing side. So it's, this is a good way for you to beat your defender. So to practice this, this is called a V drag back. It's an actual letter V that you have to follow. Yeah. So from the left side, what you have to do is drag the ball back with your right foot and then kick it to the other side. And then hold it with your left foot, drag it back, other side. Side of my mind and what drill is me. Lately, life has been gorgeous. Wake up the clear, my eyes have recorded. Praise of the God, I ain't chasing no bitch. Swing in the mist, come So this is how it's gonna look. Same thing, you can do 10 reps and then do it for four sets. I've been exploring, I gotta hold up, but somehow I want more of it. Ayan, nakita na natin dalawang drills mula ka sa ating UAP champion and UAAP MVP, Mr. Harvey Gayosa. Welcome to the show and thank you so much for that, Harvey. Thank you very much for having me. Harvey, okay, I'm going to start you off, of course, with the adjustment sa quarantine life natin. We've been on vacation for a while now. Are you adjusted to it already? And how are you, you know, coping with the situation right now of the new normal that we're facing? Uh, so, uh, knowing myself, my personality, I'm, I'm a very active person. I'm a very mobile person. So, I really need to do um, anything that I can to just stay moving around. And um, it's a big adjustment for me to actually just be at home and not do anything. So, um, our team was able to give us a lot of activities for us to do, drills for us to do, and um, stay fit for when um, this is all over, um, but um, the only positive thing that I could see through this um, from my personal standpoint is that because I'm based in Manila for the longest time, I get to be with my family, so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're enjoying your time with your family right now while also, you know, doing some football on the side because you, your activity can stop, but speaking yeah, of definitely. football, the RV, <laughs> you skipped your final year for Ateneo, which is, you know, sad for the UAP fans especially, but you are facing a new challenge right now which is the professional leagues or a professional league rather that you are joining uh, next yeah. how did the UAP help you prepare for that league where there's some of where there's some learnings you were able to carry from UAP going into the professional ranks yeah uh, definitely so coming into college football when I was a rookie um, um, 
I had that mindset wherein I knew that I had so much to prove because um, I was already, I was ready, um, I was already done with um, learning everything that I could in the high school level. So when I came into college, um, I knew that it was time for me to, to, to step up, to open myself for more opportunities to learn um, from my coaches, from from the new players that I um, that I deal with in the in the field. So um, it's it's basically that that same mindset for me to be able to bring on to. Um, coming into the PFL, coming into playing in the seniors yeah. um, national team, or even training with the seniors national national team, it's just that mindset of knowing that I still have a lot to improve on, and I take that mindset and I put it into my training and put it into the time that I that I have to work on my game, so that I'll be able to actually learn um, from it. It's it's actually more of just for me to learn. I never look at it as a way for me to to become a better or the best player. Um, it's just for me to learn, and eventually it just um, pays for itself. So that's the Harvey Gayoso secret because, you know, yeah. you seem to be way ahead of your competition at every level yeah. that you join in. Harvey, the big question right now is, especially for the UAP fans, are you really decided that you're going to forgo your final playing year for Ateneo? Uh, so I have said my farewell, and... Um, the mindset really is to grow as a player. So as of now, yes, I'm focused on um, being able to start my career um, professionally as a football player. And, and speaking <laughs> of, Harvey, um, your advice to the younger players out there who look up to you, you're one of the best football players right now in the country. So what's your message to them? Um, my message is basically, um, if you love the sport, do whatever it takes to be best at it. I mean, you should never be contented with what you've achieved. Um, if you've already won something, don't make it stop you from learning more. Don't make, make it stop you from working harder. Um, you can always be a better person. You can always be a better player than who you are today. So um, just keep working hard and remember to stay humble. Yeah, these are great and inspiring words coming from UAP champion and UAP MVP, Harvey Gayoso. Harvey, thank you so much for making time for us here on Upfront. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. God bless. Thank God bless. Team. Next naman ang magsishare ng kanyang football drills at home ay ang team captain ng Philippine Women's Football Team. Let's check this out. Hi guys, this is Ina Palacios, a former goalkeeper of the LSU, played for the UAAP, and now the team captain of the Philippine Women's Football Team. So today I'll be showing you some goalkeeping home workout that I do at home. Um, so our first exercise will be an ab workout actually, but it's a sit up while catching the ball. So this exercise is important because um, as goalkeepers, it's, it's crucial for us to have a very strong core because it helps, it helps us get up very quick on our feet every, after, every time we dive or save the ball. And all you'll be needing is a ball. So you can do this for about 10 times. So the second exercise we'll do is some throwing and catching. So all you have to do is throw the ball on the wall and then catch it. Again, you'll only be needing a football and a wall. But since we're goalkeepers, some of you guys can use gloves, but I personally um, wouldn't have to. I, don't, I, th I think I wanna just hold the ball and feel the ball more. Better if you want to get um, more feel of like game-like situation or like game-like feel, um, you can use your gloves. But for those na wala, pero gusto maglaro, okay lang naman wala. So the catching technique we'll be using is the W shape. So the W shape is like this. So it's um, one basic um, catching technique that all goalkeepers do and use. So this is important because it prevents the ball from going through your fingers and it secures it. So. Um, you can do this for about 10 catches, maybe two to three sets up to you guys. So this is how it goes. So there, I hope you enjoyed
enjoyed your quick little um, goalkeeping workout with me. And um, I hope you guys all stay safe um, during this whole pandemic. And wag niyo kalimutan magugas ng kamay at of course smile. We have here on the show the team captain of the Philippine women's football team, Miss Ina Palacios on up front. Welcome to the show, Ina. Hi, nice. Uh, thank you for having me. Hello. Uh, and also, thank you for sharing those drills to our viewers, aspiring football players out there. I'm pretty sure they know about you from the UAAP. You had such a colorful career there, winning best goalkeeper twice and winning a championship with Lasalle. Now, for you, looking back, uh, which is your favorite moment as a member of the DLSU Lady Bulls? So yeah, um, my favorite part in UAAP is probably when we won the, the Season 79 Championship for one of many reasons because um, LaSalle then had so many challenges. So seeing the team from um, at its lowest and then to achieving the championship was quite um, a journey for me. And of course, who wouldn't want to end their UAP season and their last playing career with a championship? Diba? So that was a very, very colorful one and my favorite. That's right, as a champion. And it reignited the championship culture in women's football for LaSalle, right? They didn't have it for a while. Actually, they were okay. really trying. So my first year, actually, we were in the finals. And then oh. after that, we were out. Na. So it was my first. And then my fourth year, we lost in the finals. And then my fifth mm -hmm. year, that was when we got it. Na. That's the perfect way to go out and enter UAP career. But, you know, as colorful as that was, you're also very successful as a member of the you know, national team. It's already hard to get in because there's so many good players here in the Philippines. And to be a captain, that's another feat for you. Now, being the team captain of the women's national football team, what's your, you know, main highlight or at least biggest highlight that you can remember as a member of uh, that team? I think it, I would go back to 2017. It was when mm -hmm. we qualified for the World Cup qualifiers. Um, I think that would be the highlight of my my whole um, national team um, career because for one, it was when we were able to qualify to the biggest stage in Asia. And then we had a chance um, to go to the World Cup. So um, that, I think that would be my second one, you know, just experiencing the World Cup qualifiers, being mm -hmm. with top teams in the Asia. I, I think that's that's something I'll forever like have in me and you know sana hopefully while i'm still playing we get to the world cup so yeah what's the feeling of like representing your country and then you know winning a game as big as that you know one of my well i'll add to like my favorite part of it is okay. when you're playing and then you sing your national anthem right before every game i think that one is you make it makes you feel so proud that you're filipino eh? And I think whenever we get to sing our national anthem right before a big game, everything that happens on the pitch is just parang all out. Like you, it's how you serve your country. I, I well, I think it. I think of it like that. But Ina, uh, for for our football fans out there who can't wait for you girls to be back on the pitch, uh, what's your message to them? Ano yung abangan nila uh, from our national team, national uh, women's football? Team? Well, um, well, first, um, sabay sabay tayo maghihintay para dyan. I mean, I don't know kung kailan yung next. Pero um, we're going to be positive. And um, so for the next time you're going to see us, hopefully we're all still going to be intact as a team. And um, from SEA Games, we'll bounce back stronger. So that's for sure. And I hope that everyone is safe at home um, and, you know, happy with their family and their loved ones. There you go. Thank you so much, Ina, for joining the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. There you go. Ina Palacios, team captain of the Philippine women's football team. I hope the younger football players out there got more inspired to keep on working uh, their game, keep on training, keep on practicing, and keep on dreaming. Now, para naman sa mga kapamilya natin who really want to share the love 
and to help out our brothers and sisters who are really affected during this COVID-19 crisis. You guys can contribute to our ABS CBN Panta with Nampakibig. Any amount will do, and surely it will go a long way. Watch out for more of your favorite athletes on here on Upfront. See you guys next time.